This YouTube video was presented by Screamscape, your ultimate guide to theme parks. It's the coast, the cruise. Oh, well, this point in the time, we're joined by Yeroon, the inventor of Pinball the Ride, here at the 3D Branded Attractions booth. And I mean, it's an impressive model. This thing you walk by and you can't help but turn around and say, what is that? So yeah. tell us a little bit about what we got going on here. It's a human pinball machine. You're floating on a thin layer of air and it's in an inclination, so it's gravity driven. We got all the holes closed with balls and when the vehicle touches the ball it opens a valve and that's how you keep afloat so it's very energy so sort of like like where the hamsters would go and hit the ball to get the water out sort of like that kind of idea um, <laughs> except with air yeah <laughs> with the air. but then with but then with air yeah correct um, and then from inside your vehicle you have two buttons which activates the flipper when just like a real pinball machine where you got it. yeah so basically you're riding a pinball machine and you're the ball. That's all, and I love the interactivity that you sort of control your own destiny just like in a real pinball game. That's it, but the annoying thing is everybody screws it up for another one. That's right. <laughs> so you bump into each other and then... And that would be great. I mean, I would love to get, you know, me, you, Will, yeah. Drew, everybody on this thing. And, and you can keep score with it. So by hitting things, you keep score. Oh, and that's even better. You're the winner if, you, uh, if you're at the end of the ride. Oh, this is so, so cool. And it, in the model, it looks really violent. In real life, it isn't. Mm -hmm. So it's a really smooth ride. Uh, the air is really, um, makes it a really smooth ride. And the flippers are smooth as well. And was it you that built the model? I've built the model, yeah. Now, dare I ask how long the model took to build? Uh, it took me two months to build. And it looks great. Thanks. That was the general idea. To <laughs> <laughs> so that worked, that's nice. It looks great, and um, this is something I would love if a park would install this, because also it doesn't look like it. Now, how, how big is Pinball the Ride? Like, um, it's a 50 feet by 95 feet. So not, it's not a, not a very large attraction. It's no, probably it's, as big as Bumper Car. It's, it's, yeah. it's similar like Bumper Car, yeah. I guess it would be much more popular than Bumper Cars. Well, not yeah. only that, but I think it would probably be more efficient than Bumper Cars as well, only because of the fact that you have a lot of downtime in between loading people. Yeah, people this putting is their a seat continuously. Uh, yeah, it just motion. it just keeps feeding into it. Nobody's you know walking around in the play area. They're loading in and unloading here, and then going out yep. and experiencing the attraction. That's it. Well, and this, the best thing is, um, in my opinion, there are no two rides the same. That's very true as well. Yeah, it's always different. But that would be nice. This is this is very very cool. And who wouldn't be in a pinball machine? Exactly. Everyone wants to try that. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you very much for talking to us. Now we got to go check out some other stuff here at the 3D yeah, Branded Attractions booth. Now we're joined by Luca to see the second half of the cool stuff they got going on here. And tell us what we're looking at here. It's a model for an indoor water park. Indoor water park based on Ice Age and the Rio team. Very cool. It's. I love how they got it just split down the middle. You got like the tropical side of Rio. Yeah. And then the uh, the polar ice caps of the Ice Age movies. It's a really cool theme too, because you know you never think of a winter theme for a water park. Exactly. But well, I mean maybe you do in Florida. Yeah. But you know, one where, exception. Where, where, where I go, where you need an indoor water park, because it gets cold outside, you wouldn't think of the uh, theming for winter. Yeah. And uh, you know I'm nerd now. We've got the big bowl water slide over here. We've got the the body bowl slide. We got the racing slide. You got a got boomerango. Yeah. It's just, you know, you got lots of... Like a grotto area down there. Yeah, you got the... There is also spa and the fitness center spa over there. Spa and fitness so center. So, exactly where in here is the walk-up bar where we can get the uh, big margarita drinks? <laughs> The corner. That's in the corner. And right. then on the, the top of that lane uh -huh. where they can right. sit, drink, and the walk. That's actually walk. really cool because you yeah. got that, like, sort of the deck over there that yeah. overlooks the entire water park. Uh, yeah. so you, exactly. And that little restaurant, there. maybe? Yep. Very cool. This is a, this is a neat concept. Now, um, we got also got to talk about this over here. We talked to the, about Pinball the Ride earlier, yeah. and you've got ideas for themed versions of Pinball exactly. the Ride featuring that, that intellectual property, again, of Ice Age and Rio. Yeah, exactly. And that's, it's, it's really neat to see what you guys can do instead of just doing a, a generic version of that. 
go to the next level and do that over here. Now, did you notice they're in little acorn caps in the Ice Age one? It's adorable. <laughs> All right, and we can't leave without talking about one more project you guys got, and that's our, the big model over here. Now tell us what we're looking at here. Yeah, this is a dark ride. It's based on a storyline, and you leave this storyline on board of a vehicle that starting from the boarding point, we go through the different stage of the storyline with animation all around the lane and it will be with some screen where you can have a look of the storyline and going from one screen to the other there will be some animation, some character and it will be possible to have some dynamic character like that one. Yeah, I mean, the, the still picture you got up above me showing yeah. off the, uh, the dinosaur coming out of the screen. Exactly. And it just um, showing really what this, the potential of this has. And you got different versions. This is a more traditional dark ride, but you yeah. also have one that where it could be a, a more interactive style interactive too. Interactive with target to short in and the end to have the kind of uh, point uh, uh, score about the, the target. Mm -hmm. And the thing I like about this one too here is this booth, you guys work with Ice Age and Rio and the, these yeah. IPs. Yeah. So you're going to get a lot more bang for your buck than if you were going with um, Dinosaurs the Ride. Exactly. It's more interesting for the people to, to be inside the, the storyline of Ice Age. Absolutely. Well, this is a very cool booth. A very cool Ice Age. You get, see yeah. what I did there? Ah, cool. All right, Luca, well, thank you very much for Thanks coming for on the show. You got some really Thank neat products here. Coming.